Hello world! So you want to visit an active volcano? Are you ready for an unforgettable adventure? Join us as we take you through the steps on how to visit one safely. Can I do it without getting burnt out? In this video, we'll highlight the essential tips and precautions to take when exploring these natural wonders. From choosing the right gear to understanding volcanic activity, we've got you covered. Get ready to experience the awe-inspiring power of an active volcano up close while prioritizing your safety above all else. Keep in mind that this is not a complete list and you should always follow advice from local experts. Recently, we had the opportunity to visit an active volcano in Hawaii. It was an exhilarating experience watching Kilauea Summit come alive. We're the only ones here. And look at our view. But what struck me the most was the attention to safety. There's something undeniably thrilling about the idea of standing at the edge of a bubbling, pewing, and roaring active volcano. The thought of witnessing the raw power of nature up close is just mind-blowing, to say the least. And for adventure seekers like ourselves, visiting Kilauea's eruption in Hawaii was by far one of the best highlights of our lives. We'd like to share this experience with you in hopes of inspiring others to do so safely. Visiting an active volcano is very risky, no matter how thrilling it may be. The truth is, volcanoes are unpredictable forces of nature, and their behavior can change at any moment. This unpredictability poses a significant risk to travelers who can find themselves in harm's way with little to no warning. Volcanologists estimate that there are over 1,500 potentially active volcanoes worldwide and it's only a matter of time before the next big eruption occurs. The risks are real and the consequences can be deadly. Here are some tips and things to know before visiting an active volcano. Tip number one, research and check conditions. Before your visit, research the volcano's current activity level, eruption history, and any warnings or advisories from local authorities. The USGS website is a scientific agency that provides information and alerts about the environment and natural hazards like earthquakes and volcanoes. The website provides current updates and you can also check out the live stream on YouTube. We recommend setting aside a week based on the USGS prediction. For example, in our case, they said Kilauea would erupt on the weekend, but it ended up erupting midweek instead. This is not something you can just go to without tracking the volcanic activity, which is similar to chasing the northern lights. It's best to plan ahead. This means that adventurers can plan their expedition with greater confidence, avoiding dangerous areas, and timing their visits to coincide with periods of low activity. Tip number two, bring safety goggles and a face mask. Modern safety gear is also a game changer, providing protection from heat, ash, and toxic gases. One of the most significant risks visiting active volcanoes is the threat of pyroclastic flows. These fast-moving deadly clouds of hot ash, gas, and rock can reach temperatures of up to 1,000 Celsius, making them almost impossible to survive. And then there's the risk of toxic gas exposure, which can be just as deadly. Volcanic gases or VOG are gases like sulfur dioxide and hydrogen fluoride can cause respiratory problems, eye and skin condition, and even death. Stay away from areas downwind from the volcano to avoid volcanic ash. Tip number three. Wear sturdy hiking boots and protective clothing. It is always important to cover up no matter what season you visit. Taking this important measure can keep you safe and comfy while visiting a volcano. Tip number four, stay in marked trails and overlooks. Never enter closed or restricted areas. Established eruption viewing overlooks are in place for your safety. There may be hidden sinkholes and unstable cliffs that you are not aware of. Tip number five, book a tour guide. If this is your first time, I highly recommend booking a guided tour with an expert who's familiar with the area and safety protocols. You can always go back by yourself with the knowledge you gained like we did. We went back three more times because why not? Tip number six, book accommodations nearby. Keep in mind that eruptions can happen anytime, so staying close can help you get there in a timely manner. There are many places near Kilauea, like the Volcano House, but you need to book months ahead. Or if you're interested in unique stays like this Airbnb, we recommend the Phoenix House. Just be aware of the location and distance of your booking. This place was an hour away from the Volcano National Park. Tip number seven, bring a headlamp or flashlight with extra batteries. This is a must if you're planning to visit at night, which I highly recommend. 
The contrast of the bright lava fountain and the dark sky was amazing and something to witness once in a lifetime. Tip number 8. Bring offerings to Pele, the Hawaiian goddess of fire and volcanoes. These gifts are given to show respect and to ask for her protection. Just remember, it is best not to bring food because it'll attract rodents and also white flowers. She would not like that. Additional tips is to remember to pack water and snacks, also to wear a hat and sunscreen during the daytime. By understanding the risks and taking necessary precautions, you can experience the raw power of an active volcano while being safe. Thanks for joining me on this adventure and I'd love to hear your thoughts on volcano exploration in the comments below. If you're new here, consider subscribing for more adventure-related content.